folks over at Night Dive Studios are at it again, this time bringing us an updated version of early 90s FPS, Rise of the Triad. Oh yeah, baby, this is the ludicrous edition. Welcome everyone to I Dream of Indie Games, my name's Old Gamer Joe, and if you are interested in supporting us further, please head on over to patreon.com slash I Dream of Indie Games. We have some incredible perks just for you, including Discord access to the most amazing indie gaming community out there, ad-free versions of our shows, exclusive live streams, hell, even some free games depending on the tier. Be sure to check it out. Our link is in the description box below. Also, be sure to like and subscribe if you're enjoying this content. Thank you so much. Originally intended to be a sequel to Wolfenstein 3D, Rise of the Triad took on a life of its own, winning the hearts and minds of gamers as it was originally released as shareware. While that classic only featured 10 levels, the game had countless additions since, and with the ludicrous edition, you'll gain access to all of those expansion packs and much more. So maybe you've played Rise of the Triad before, but have you experienced these cutting edge graphics in 4K? Huh? Is that a first for you? How about widescreen support? New levels, unlocked frame rates, online play, they've gone all out here. Hell, there's even controller support in this version and it works shockingly well. So then, for those of you that aren't familiar with Rise of the Triad, it is in every sense an old school FPS. You'll select from one of five different characters on a quest to stop a cult. Selecting a campaign will net you a bit more backstory from this world's lore. It's also worth noting that each each of the playable characters has different attributes. Some are faster, some are stronger. The goal of each level, of course, is to take down waves of enemies and reach your destination. Yes, the map and overall level designs are clunky, the aiming doesn't need to be all that precise, you'll bump about collecting keys, and it's harder than sin, but part of the fun with revisiting this game honestly comes from the many cheat codes entered the same way they were all the way back when. Cheat codes will grant you all sorts of fun stuff, from the ability to unlock every weapon in the game to a zoom mode, and you can even have yourself a bad trip with the shrooms mode. There's just a ton of cheats, and they're all a blast to experiment with. Also, I believe in the original Rise of the Triad, you could play on Christmas to hear Christmas music in-game, but now it can be Christmas every day. Still, the reality is Ludicrous Edition can't entirely escape old game design. It does feel about as good as you could hope for a game from the 90s, it's fast, runs really smooth at high frame rates, and swapping between weapons is a breeze. It's bloody too, but still, while there is some fun to have in experimentation with the cheats and such, if you're just trying to do a straight playthrough of this game, you will ultimately, unless you're really familiar with it, end up pretty frustrated with the poor map designs and the enemies that are very difficult. So yes, fair warning, this is still an old game with a new coat of paint. I will tip my hat here, however, as this is a very customizable version of the game, with players being able to swap between the original soundtrack, which is fantastic by the way, and the 2013 version, also really good. There's language options, you can tailor the controls to your liking, change the HUD, all sorts of stuff. It's obvious a great deal of love and care was put into trying to make this the very best version of Rise of the Triad, while still staying true to what the game was. For the many wonderful additions and efforts that have gone into this restoration, at the end of the day, as I alluded to earlier, Rise of the Triad is an old game. If you're accustomed to newer FPS titles, this won't feel all that comfortable to you, and you might even be wondering why anyone would enjoy this. It's hard to see doors, traps come out of nowhere, and honestly, if you aren't using cheats like God Mode, you're gonna get absolutely slaughtered unless you really know this game well, and even on the lower difficulties you might struggle. So ultimately, Ludicrous Edition is a game for fans of the original, but maybe not anyone else. Still, for those fans, and believe me they exist, this is a wonderful way to experience the game all over again. From having access to all of the expansions, to even a map editor now, this is an enjoyable update to an old game, but for a lot of people it's just going to be an old game, and that could potentially mean not a very fun experience. So I guess in conclusion, if you were a fan of the original Rise of the Triad, you really loved it a lot, this is a great update that you're going to enjoy. Everyone else, you'll probably wonder what the big deal is. We hope you enjoyed this review of Rise of the Triad Ludicrous Edition. If you did, be sure to head on over to patreon.com slash idreamofindiegames where we offer even more amazing perks. It's patreon.com slash idreamofindiegames. Like and subscribe to the video, share it with your friends, and we thank you so much for supporting clickbait-free independent content. Gotcha.